Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at um, putting the SV1000 into dealer mode. This process also applies to the SV650 um, fuel injected models as the process is identical in every way. Now, uh, in order to uh, do that, all we need to do is find a particular plug which is located under the seat and with a piece of wire, bridge a couple of terminals. What that will allow us to do is bring up any fault codes related to the to the bike uh, on the dashboard and then you can take the appropriate action. It uh, makes diagnosing any problems that you have with the bike really, really easy and straightforward. So what I need to do, get the seat off and then uh, we can dig into it. Right then guys, um, with the seat off, what we can do is uh, we can get access to the plug that we required to bridge in order to access dealer mode. Now, um, mine is right here. This is the one you're looking for with a plastic, well, well rubber, should I say, rubber cap on it. It's um, right there. It's a six pin, um, six pin connector. And I don't know whether you can see on the video or not, um, but inside, only four of the connectors, uh, sorry, four of the um, pinouts are actually occupied. This one here in the top right hand corner has nothing in it and the bottom one middle has nothing in it. Um, so this is the connector you're looking for. Don't be confused by any others because um, you, uh, you won't get the result you're looking for and there's potential for you to damage your bike. But this is the one you're looking for. And as you can see, these are the colors of the cables going into the back. Okay, now we've um, identified the connector that we need to use um, in order to uh, put the bike into dealer mode. What we want to do first is ensure that the ignition's off and make sure that the isolator switch, uh, the engine run stop switch, is in the off position. Now, what we're going to do next is take a piece of wire or a paper clip. I've got a paper clip here. I find paper clips actually easier to get into the connectors because a, wire, a piece of wire just wants to bend. Take your, uh, take your paper clip, obviously, if it's, um, if it's one of those kind of paper clips with a plastic coating on it, make sure it's, uh, you remove it, otherwise you won't get anywhere with it. This is a plain uh, steel paper clip. And then these two uh, pins here on the top of the connector, the opposite end from the blank pin, make these two here. Do not touch the other two pins. Simply take your paper clip and push it in to the connector like so. Now, what we're doing is there is obviously bridging those two pins and that would put the bike into dealer mode. Suzuki themselves actually do sell a, a, a tiny piece of loom. Basically, it's the um, male end of this connector um, with a small length of wire with a switch on it. They sell that and I think it's something ridiculous, like 40 quid. Now, you, you're achieving exactly the same thing with a paperclip. So, if you want to go and spend 40 quid with Suzuki for the actual dealer tool, then by all means crack on. However, um, my, uh, my, my 1P paperclip will do the job just fine. Okay, what we need to do now is um, turn the bike on and have a look at the, uh, the dash. Okay, engine run stop switch in the off position and turn the ignition on. Okay, what we're going to be looking at is down here where it says check. That's where we want to be looking for the codes. As soon as I flick the switch just here, we should get um, a code up here. If there's no codes, it should say C00. If there's, if it says C and then 01, blah, 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 or whatever, any number, then that means we've got a code. So let's flick the switch. We'll hear the fuel pump prime and keep looking here right okay we've got a dash and then c00 so that tells me that my bike does not have any fault codes currently which is a good thing so what i'll do i will put up a list of all the fault codes that you could potentially get with this bike um and then if you've got any of those codes then naturally you uh, you'd know where to look in order to uh, carry out an investigation one thing i will point out 
this little dash just next to the C, the little dash is actually an indicator for the throttle position sensor. And it's sitting in the middle. If it's at the top or at the bottom, then that means that the throttle position sensor actually requires adjustment. But I'll make that a, a different video. I won't go into that in detail here. So, uh, obviously I'm happy that there are no fault codes on this bike. So, what we can do, turn the ignition off, go back to our um, connector, pull the wire out, and pop the, uh, pop the cover back on. And then that's the job done. The seat can go back on and um, we're, uh, we're good to go. Obviously, if you do have a fault, then you know where to look now. Uh, it takes all the guesswork out of it. If your bike's not running right, um, you, can, you can chase your tail sometimes trying to figure out what's wrong. This does um, give you uh, a good indicator of where you should be looking. Anyway, guys. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, then give it a like. Give me uh, yeah, a thumbs up, it's always uh, appreciated. If you didn't like it, then give me a thumbs down. It's uh, entirely up to you. Um, hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification uh, and you'll, be, um, you'll get notifications for any future videos. Um, if you want to, hit me, uh, hit me up on the, uh, on the socials, both Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, have a look for Kev's Shed. Um, and uh, I will leave actual direct links to each of those in the description. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you all again for the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye now.